Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with an apartment tour today. I just edited all that, but I wanted to jump in because I have an idea and I want to let my exclusive shoppers know and my non-exclusive shoppers know in case non-exclusives want to become exclusive. I am going to have a sale, a fabric sale, a pre-order sale. I've done that in the past and what's good about that is I can take all the orders but then I place an order with the supplier and I can do that while I'm away from home because I will have them shipped to my house and that will be arriving um, after I'm back. So there's going to be a pre-order sale for fabric panels. That's pretty much the only way I will be selling fabric panels in the future once I am done with the ones that I happen to have at home because I don't have to overbuy that way. People order the ones they want and then I place the big order with the supplier. And this particular supplier, during the pandemic last year in 2020, they were pretty slow at getting things shipped out about two weeks before I would get it. But I don't see that on their site anymore that the, you know, the shipping is slow. So maybe that'll have sped up by now. Regardless, I've always received the panels from them. I like their services very much. They have good customer service, all that stuff. So I expect to be uh, ordering panels from there. And then I might throw in a pre-order for Lorelei prints also. That will give me an excuse to uh, order some bolts. I'm not sure about that one yet. I just have to see how much I can get done with the time that I have here. It's a good way to put off cleaning Skylar's room. <laughs> so just, um, you know, consider that. If you want to be an exclusive shopper, sometimes I've done it where I, I offer to both, but there's just no way I want to do that. It's just too much work to set up all the sales pages twice, one for exclusive, one for non-exclusive, for each item. There's going to be, you know, a nice variety of panels. So uh, consider joining up and becoming an exclusive shopper if you want. And the details are in the description box down below. Now, here is the apartment tour. Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here to give you a quick tour of Derek's apartment. Let's start with outside. These are just some of the buildings in this complex. I believe there are 32 buildings in all. Derek is on the third floor and he picked an apartment that was looking out at trees instead of a parking lot. This is the little area where Skylar and I were sitting for videos. And behind this area is this door. He has nice storage in there. It's a very big room. And that's where he keeps all his band equipment and other things that they don't use all the time. And now we enter. And this is what we have. This is his living area. And this is my office space behind this door, which doesn't usually exist. He put that table up for me. Some shoes, my purse, and this is a craft table. It is like the perfect spot for me. That's one of Skylar's craft tables, and I have a chair, and he had a thing to lift my computer. I always bring my keyboard and mouse. There's my tripod. He let me have a fan and a light, and I have my nose spray and eye drops. I almost brought white out for real because I don't like not having white out. And it's just like that nose spray. Very rarely do I use it anymore, but I have to have it just to feel safe. My schedule, my glasses, and this is where I charge all my things. Okay, so the living room. It's got some stuff there. Stuff that Skylar has done with Legos and things, and lots of pillows. This is a closet, and he has like his vacuum in there, and then games. This is a galaxy uh, piece of art that Skylar did. I like it very much. And then this is some abstract stuff. Oh, I didn't realize the black lines are raised. 
his TV. And that's where I sleep, on that couch. I bring my own sheets and pillows. And I just have my luggage out here. I put it in Skylar's room, but there's just no room in there. His chair, his favorite and very comfy chair. And then he gave me this table for my, um, well, it's not a table, but it acts like one, for my CPAP machine because it's got to be like at my level or a little bit lower, like that table would be too high or I would have moisture running down the hose. You'll see the parts of that in the kitchen. I just cleaned it. So it gives me a nice place for my machine and then I also have a place for my glasses and I can put my iPad there at night. And I do, you know, take all the sheets and stuff off the couch every day. I want it to look like a home. And then this is his window. I love this window. And on the third floor, they get this, and the ceiling is a little bit higher there. They have a part of it that uh, I can't think of the name of the ceilings that are high. Cathedral ceilings? I can't remember. Something like that. And... Two nights in a row, we had the most fantastic thunder and lightning. And I get up at night and I open this because I want to be able to watch all the lightning. And he likes that too. So, uh, nice window. And his Pepe's guitar. Oh no, the lighting is funky here. Let me see if I can switch. That was my father's guitar and my son has that. It is one of his most prized possessions. And let's go to the kitchen now. On our way, see the little dining room table is here. And I can barely get up on those chairs because I am apparently in the house of giants. So before we get to the kitchen, he has a pantry here. And all kinds of goodies. None of which I eat. <laughs> and the kitchen. It's small, but it does the trick. And it's very bright. His other kitchen in his old apartment wasn't. The only thing I hate is his doors are not in the right direction, but he doesn't feel like changing them. These are just uh, perler bead things Skylar and I did like a little over a year ago. He has a microwave. Just the usual things. And... This is, you know, the parts of my CPAP machine, and I'm just, I just washed everything. So I'm just, you know, letting the cord hang, the cord, what's that called? Hose. Letting the hose hang so it can dry. Trash can. And he has quite a bit of storage for a small apartment. You know, and even this storage is okay for him because he can actually reach all that. <laughs> And again, there's his little dining area. So that's the pantry door. And then this door is just the water heater. Nothing exciting there. And then the next two doors are his laundry area. And I bought him that washer and dryer as a housewarming gift. And I have some laundry I want to do for them. Down this hallway, we have Skylar's room, Skylar's bathroom, and Derek's room. And he also has a bathroom. We'll start with Skylar's room, which is very messy. I did do a before because we wanted to do a video. Um, I don't know if that video is going to happen. I actually cleaned up a little bit in there yesterday while she was in school, but it doesn't show. So this is her room. Oops, I need to open the doorknob. And it's very blue because she has LED lights. She wanted some of those for Christmas, so I got her some. Messy bed. Let me change the light setting. Well, I think that might be a little bit better. And yeah, it's just a mess. There's stuff everywhere. That's all her clean clothes that she's going to have to put away um, that I washed for her and just a mess. But anyway, she has a window and a bed and... <laughs> A printer on the floor and a nice big closet. There's two doors. I can't really open that one because of the table, but that's what a closet looks like. Oh, and she does have a chair with stuff on it. 
Her bathroom is clean because I cleaned it. She has a toilet, a vanity, and I put a little basket for her hair brushes and she has a nice big mirror and some cabinets over the toilet, her towels, her shower curtain, and a runner that I got her so we don't slip and fall when we get out of the shower. And her shower is nice and clean and a new shower head. She was really excited to have that. And this is Derek's room. Hi, Derek. <laughs> He's speechless. <laughs> I had to change the light settings because we are in a different kind of lighting. This is his bed and he keeps his room very nice and clean and that's because it's also his office. He does have a backdrop up right now, but he doesn't always. So sometimes he's uh, with his team and he wants them to see a made bed. So Derek is a podcast producer. He produces podcasts for, I think he says he's up to 45 different clients. He has a team of, I just asked him, team of 12. 12 people work for him. And this is where he does all his stuff. I absolutely love these lamps that he has. So I think I'm going to need to get something like that. And his desk goes up and down. This is actually a TV screen that he uses for a monitor, so when he watches TV at night, he raises the whole table, and then the TV is high enough for him to watch. And that's his backdrop. Just plain, simple. And some Skylar's artwork over there, and a, a little um, bottle she made him that says SRP. His business is Shelby Row Productions. And then... He has a nice closet like this and also again very neat. Skylar made him that popsicle stick daddy a long time ago and he always has it. And then here is his bathroom. Look, toilet seat up. Very basic, tub and shower, vanity, mirror, cabinets, above the toilet, and that is it. I don't know if that was exciting for you or not. I seriously doubt it. But I just wanted to show you, you know, where Derek is currently living and where I'm currently staying. He's been here for like a year, if not a little bit more, and uh, I've never been here. He moved shortly after the last time I visited, which was in January of 2020. And he will be moving again. Hopefully he wants to be in Hernando. That's where Skylar goes to school and he doesn't want her to switch schools anymore. He wants her to stay put. If you are interested in having a podcast or even learning more, Derek's your guy to go to. He uh, has interviews every day with people. It's just so cool that he has been able to build his own empire. He's doing very well with that. He started by not even knowing anything about podcasts. He had just put it out there that he could do editing for videos and things like that. And somebody said... What do you know about podcasts? Do you think you could, you know, do a podcast for me? And Derek is like, absolutely. That was his very first podcast client. And Derek had no clue. He said, absolutely. He spent hours learning what he needed to do. And he still has that client to this day. That was about three years ago. And that man has been so nice to Derek. He is his mentor in many ways. They have meetings every Tuesday just to chat about business and life. And, you know, it's just, it's funny how things happen sometimes. But Derek just was like, ooh, this is something I could probably do. And then little by little, he added on more clients and then he got to the point where he couldn't handle the clients but he still wanted more so he started hiring other people to do the editing and all that stuff for him and like I said he's up to like 45 clients something like that and a team of 12 that work for him so that's pretty cool.
I'm proud of him. Very, very proud of him. So if you are interested at all in learning more about having your own podcast, even if you think you don't have anything to podcast about, <laughs> I would love to have a podcast, but I really want it to be where I can uh, talk with someone, not just myself, you know, explaining things or whatever. I do enough of that here. Um, but one of these days, I'll have a podcast, and Derek will be running it for me. I will link down below if you want to check out his site. Somewhere there, there's um, info, and you can contact him, and he will explain it to you. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more soon. Not sure with what, but uh, yeah, go uh, consider being uh, an exclusive shopper if you want to get in on the pre-order sale. Bye!